So most of the times when we see any of the mechanical drawings, it is enclosed with the GDNT symbols and values. Always we get a confusion that from where we going to get the geometrical tolerance. So example, the perpendicularity of a diameter 0 0.0015 with respect to datum A. So we get confused that from where we will get this value diameter of 0 0.0015. Like that, the, there is another value called position diameter of 0 0.002 maximetric condition with respect to the datum B at maximetric condition. So like that, there are so many other geometrical tolerance from where this is generated. We do have a lot of confusions. So let me explain this on this video clip. There are two ways to find out the, the geometrical tolerance. Which are the two ways? Let me see that one. So from one method is from the coordinate dimensions and the another is from the fits. So first we will see what is meant by coordinate dimensions. From coordinate dimension, how we can generate a geometrical tolerance. The next slide is about the from coordinate dimensions. If you see a drawing, it is having a plate with a dimension of 100 by 50. There is a hole of 15 diameter with plus or minus 0.15 as a tolerance. And it is placed at 25 plus or minus 0 0.025. And in another direction, it is 25, 0 0.1, 0.25. So now from this, how we can convert this hole into geometrical tolerance. Now, if you see that there are three steps to involved in this one. First step is we have to understand that what is the range of the tolerance zone. If you go back to the drawing once again, there is a 0 0.25. So if you see that in one direction, what is the range? The 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 is the range of the tolerance zone. So totally there is a zone of 0 0.50. In the other direction also 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25, it will going to create 0.5. So on plus on minus side, the range will create 0.5. So that is what I shown in the step one. If you see here, there is a range of 0 0.50 and 0 0.50. Now, there is a rectangle zone is created within which the axis of the hole is going to lies. So now we have to understand what is the distance that diagonal of this one which creates a circle. This circle which is called as a geometrical tolerance. Why we taking this circle as why because the tool size is a circular. So that's why we going to take this as a circular. From the theorem of hypotenuse, we are going to calculate what is the distance called C. So the C formula will is, is C square is equal to A, A square plus B square. A is called the perpendicular and B is the base. So now the perpendicular and the base is 0 0.50 and 0 0.50. If you, if you manipulate and calculate this one, then we're going to get C as 0 0.71. This is called the geometrical tolerance for this one. So now once we get a geometrical tolerance, then there is no tolerance that is going to available with the 25. This is a theoretical exact location which going to position the hole over here. So the 25 plus or minus 0 0.25 is converted back to 25 and here also the 25 is going to convert it into basic dimension of 25. If you see the datum B the and C over here from where the, the whole position. So that's why we consider this as the datums and the, and the first one is the going to place it on the base. So that's why we consider that base as the datum A. This is how we're going to give a datums and as well as the basic dimension 
as well as the geometrical tolerance. This is the one way of finding a form tolerance. The second one is from the fits. Where there is a fits requirement, then from there, how we can find out the geometrical tolerance. So if you see in a diagram, the diagram encloses with a pin and a hole. The pin dimension is 1.325 to 1.330. If you see the hole dimension, that is 1.365 and 1.370. Now we have to find out what is the geometrical tolerance for this two. Now we're going to find out what is the minimum clearance for between these two. Once we're going to calculate the minimum distance, then what we're going to get is MMC of the hole is 1.365 and MMC of the shaft will be 1.330. So when we subtract from this both, then we will get a difference of 0 0.035. 0 0.035 is the minimum clearance available between these two features. So this clearance is going to be used for the geometrical tolerance so for the either of these two components now it is our designers call that how we going to distribute this value this value can be distributed into two that either for the whole we going to give a 0 0.025 and the, for the pin will be 0 0.010 so if you summation of these two then you are going to get a 0 0.035 so if you're going to interchange or you can make it equal, it's left to the designer call. But this is the way we're going to get the geometrical tolerance for these two components. Like that, there are so many things you're going to learn in this sessions. So please now join to the GDNT basics and advanced session so that you're going to learn so many of these tricks and as well as how to apply a geometrical tolerance. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.